What's up YouTube? It's been a while since I've posted anything in the channel, but now I'm gonna post a new type of video. It'll be a new segment in the channel where I'm just gonna talk about tech stuff, do tutorials and reviews of tech things and it's exciting. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> If you're here, you're like me and you have a problem. What's the problem? You need to route audio from different sources to different sources inside of your PC for maybe streaming, uh, talking on Skype, Zoom. Maybe you're listening to some music and you want to share it with other people. You're playing a game and you're talking to people on Discord and you're streaming and you don't want the stream to hear Discord or you do want it. The whole point is, is you want to have control over everything that's playing in your PC and where everything is going. Now, by default, Windows doesn't let you do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Voice Meter, a very popular free application for Windows that does the job for us. Okay, so let's head over to their website. which is right there. I'm going to link this in the description. Right. So the first thing is there's three versions of it. Standard banana potato. They go increasingly more complicated from the standard to the potato version. I'm going to show you the potato version, but all of them do the same things. But as you go up, they offer some more resources. I specifically want to show you potato and at the end of this tutorial you'll understand why. I'll come back to this and explain why I picked potato. So you want to click it here. It's gonna pop, pop this up, download, save it wherever you want. It's usually gonna be in your downloads folder, right? Just do that, install it. It's probably gonna ask you to reboot your system, which is fine. And it'll show up like so. It'll be right there, see? And then when you click on it, it'll pop up. And this is what it looks like. It can be kind of daunting because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of buttons, a lot of things on it. If you're like me and you only have one mic that's physically going into your computer, meaning it's an th actual thing, that has a cable that goes into your computer, it's either going to be a USB mic or an XLR mic or some other kind of mic that goes through something to get into the computer. In my case, this is an XLR mic, so it goes into my interface and the interface is connected to the PC via USB. So the first thing that I do to get anything going on here is to click up here and select my physical input, in my case, it's going to be M Audio M Track 2X2. I'm not going to get into why they repeat a couple times here. Maybe if you guys are interested to know about that, ask me in the comments and I'll make another video explaining that. So for now, meter is already moving because it's capturing the input from my microphone. And then up top here, if I right click, I can name this channel just to make things easier to understand. In my case, I put M-Audio because that's my interface. Just to help myself and not, be, not get too confused later, I named all of the other ones Nope because I physically don't have anything going on with inputs 2, 3, 4, or 5. Now we have sound going into voice meter. Let's get the sound out because right now I don't hear anything. So the first step is to go over here and click on B1. In this case, I'm sending it only to B1 because it's going to be here, voice meter bio, right? And then also I'm going to name these three because this is going to tell me where I'm sending them. So this one is voice because I want only my voice to be in this first bus. 
This one, I named it stream because this is what I'm going to send to my stream or whoever is on the other side of my Zoom call or Skype call or anything else. This one, I named monitoring because I can hear it, but whoever is on the other side can't. So the first thing is to set all three of them to A1 because up here, this is our outputs, right? Our physical outputs. So we can have five of them, but in my situation, both my headphones and my speakers are connected to the same interface. So I only need one output and that's going to be A1 M audio 2X2. And then it shows up here, which one is selected. If you add more, they're going to be listed below that first one. So right now, I have input here and then over here it shows that I also have output from the first one of these five and then down here I can also see this moving. That is because I sent my mic to B1. If I turn B1 off. This part right here is what we call the master section, right? It says here. Master section is just for like to have a quick look at what's going where. Right now, I'm only sending the mic to B1, so that's the only one that's moving. It says down here physical and virtual. That means this is A1, this is A2, A3, A4, A5. They're all labeled right here, see? And then B1, 2, and 3. All right, so. Now I have my signal going in and coming out of voice meter. The next thing we're going to do to make our life a little simpler is to go back here, click this little speaker, left click on it. And as our default interface, our default audio source for listening to things, we're going to select VAO 3 and I'll explain about why that is in just a moment. After we did that, VAO 3, we click off of it and we're going to do one more thing to this thing. We're going to click it with the right mouse button and then go to open sound settings. Now I can go and do some something else in here. This is something we're going to come back to later because this is important. When you do this, Windows lets you choose where applications are going to send their sound. So right now we have OBS over here, we have Firefox, a bunch of things, and we have Spotify. I have set them to go to aux input. And if you remember what I was saying earlier, aux is going to be B2 in voice meter. And I'm going to send Spotify also to aux. Firefox stays as is. Anything that's on default now is getting sent to B3 because we just changed that to VIO3, right? So for now, we're done with this screen. Voice meter is all set up. I'm sending everything to A1 because I can hear everything and only this one is going to be two because that's what I'm going to add to OBS or any other voice chatting program that you want to use. The other thing that I've did that I've done here is set this one to mono because voice meter by default has stereo channels and this mic is mono. If I take, if I tick this off, now my sound only goes to one side which is weird, right? I want it to go both ways. So I mono it and there we go. Now my microphone is going equally to both sides, which is the, pretty much the definition of a mono. All right, now let's get into OBS. Over here, I have the scenes that I've been using to do this tutorial. And then here's my sources. This is my webcam, obviously. Voice meters over there. And then the two audio sources that I have here are the mic and aux. The mic, I named it this way because remember that I only have my microphone on B1. 
And if I check voice meter right here, you can see that B1 is voice meter vial, right? So I'm opening mic here and choose voice meter vial. That is the bus that I only have my microphone on. So I click done. And then you can, it's going to show up as something else. It's going to be, let's click over here to add a source just so you can see. And then you're going to choose audio input capture and then add source. In fact, let's do that with the aux just to show you. Okay. Aux is not there anymore. And now let's try playing something from Spotify. See, I can hear music right now, but you can't because it's not going through anything. But in voice meter, Spotify is still playing, but you guys can't hear it. But you can see that voice meter is still getting it, right? So let's fix that. We click here, add an audio input capture source, add source. This one is the one that we already have, right? We're adding a new source instead. And we're naming it aux add, add source. source. Now, now it's, it's not, not really working, working right? right? Because, because now you, you can, can just hear my mic twice, twice. Because, because this is still set, set to default, default which means it's coming from, from B3. B3. Now, now instead, instead, we're going to choose aux out. And now you can hear it. It starts at maximum volume, of course, so it was kind of loud. And now I have full control of how loud the music is going to you guys. And I'm still hearing it at the same volume, no matter what I do here. So this is a very comfortable setup. Like I can choose the, the volume that I, I want to hear separately from what's being sent. Now, I should mention that if you mess with the volume in Spotify, it's going to affect this, obviously, right? Because when you turn down the volume in Spotify, you're messing with the output volume, which is what's going into voice meter, which in turn is what's going into this aux bus. And now I told you I was going to come back to why, the, why I chose potato, right? And why we chose to put the and why we choose to put VIO3 as the default Windows sound source. So let's just stop the music for a second. Okay. So coming back here, if you notice here, the other two voice meters don't have this. Potato has this very, very useful display here where whenever you play anything in an app, it'll show you which bus is getting the signal. So right now, for example, if I go to YouTube and play a video, do you see there how on B3 here, it's playing, it's getting a signal, but you guys can't hear it because we set VIO3 as our default, which means it's not in here. It's not in, it's not in, not in OBS in this case. I can hear it. Voice meter can hear it, but you can't because I haven't added it to my OBS section session. It would have to be right here and that's it. We're all set. If you found this useful, please, please like and subscribe. Also, I'm on Twitch. I'm gonna put the, put the link in the description below. If you want to ask me any questions live, I don't have a fixed stream schedule yet, but we'll get there. For now, you can just follow me and get notified when I go live. Cheers.